Hello YouTube, this is Fantex0104 here. Right there is my big fat 20 pound cat taking a bath. But today's not because of that. <laughs> and yes, there he is. What are you doing? We're going to do you a how to video on how to make an elevator animation. Now, what I used to make this now is living off his impress because I don't have Microsoft, nor do I like it. Uh, focus, focus. I actually used to use LibreOffice Draw. I'll, I'll show you what that looks like. LibreOffice Draw. See, look, this is what I used to use. And, and now, I use Impress because I found the skyscraper folder to make more realistic elevators. I know not all of them are like that. Sorry, guys. But now... We're gonna close this window and make the elevator animation. So how to start it? I'm gonna show you the doors and everything. What I regret st starting to do when you first do an elevator animation is either a parking garage elevator or a mall elevator. See what? Sometimes what I like to do is open up my data folder. See look it has all these parts right here where all the elevator parts are for skyscraper if you downloaded any of these parts. If you have this game Skyscraper and it downloaded basically all these elevators, you'll see all of this in that Skyscraper folder. But we're not going to use those parts right now. What we're going to use is, um, we're going to do a little background wall color. We're going to start with a parking garage elevator. So what I do like to do is put, like, wait, maybe there's one in the, uh, see, look, I either do, ah, what happened? So I either do, this or I do this. We're gonna make a parking garage elevator. How about Dover Impulse? How's that sound? And not the regular ones. These ones. See? So uh wow for the button panel what you wanna do is look for the panel on your data folder for skyscraper. Let's use panel black number two. Make it a little bigger. That's good. Now we want to do is um you know let's make this up a little bit. Um we're just gonna um you see here? We're gonna make this a little different. See, look, here's the button right here. I use my mouth to make that clicking sound. So, look, it's not laying up. This is the call button. We're going to make the impulse fixtures for the inside. We're going to make this a different hotel that I, th that I had in mind. So, what we want to do is we want to copy this. Copy and paste it again. Now, we want to get our data folder. See, look, this one's lit up. And, uh... Now we want to make this just as big. Because you look at this. That's what it'll look like. And what I want to do for viewing, when I make the animation, I put slideshow. See? And either do this, we watch the button go out, but we're not going to do that for this animation. I do copy paste to delete these. Oops, I should have kept that actually. So I'm gonna make a set of parking garage elevators. Yes, these will be Dover. But except they they're not what I had in mind, but that's fine. So see the impulse lantern right there? I'm make that a little bigger. Now we copy the page. And now we put this lantern lit right here. How about the right elevator will lit up? So. And what I do, I'll show you how to make a door. So we're going to copy paste. We're going to get rid of these. 
Now, the cab. What I'm going to do is find a background cab color. How about we make this like a fancy cab? Like this one. I use skyscraper to do this. The folder anyway. Now we find our door. Let's use this uh let's use an orange door. How about that? Now what I wanna do is like keep them you know, open. Centered. Yeah, I know you can't really tell the difference. Now what I wanna do is keep copying and pasting. And while you're doing that, open these up a little bit. Now we copy paste. We want to open it up. We want to open the door up. Most of the time, I don't add sound to these doors, but sometimes I do. Just, just not very often. Hang on, my cat wants to leave. Sorry about that. But now we're going to continue doing the same thing till the door is completely open. paste and now our door is completely open now for the fixtures put new slide go over here copy this panel and paste it now I don't recommend putting this in because it, that kind of gets into your way those settings enough. sorry about that my sister came running in here so anyway we're gonna see that helps get rid of that now let's put the fixtures so um let's put square button how about we're gonna make this a six story trap a hy hydraulic traction let's just make it six stories want to keep now keep copying and pasting until you reach that amount of floors So, um, now what we're going to do is we're going to put, that's a rear door close button, but we're not going to make a rear door in this elevator. I did that for the Spring Hill Suites elevator. So, um, now for the brailing. So what we do is we go to font work right here. This is for the Libya office, not Microsoft PowerPoint because we don't like Microsoft here. So you want to go to font work, go to this one right here, put OK. Now you want to do this, type in the number, click on it twice, now put your number in. So, um, now you want to copy that, paste that. Now we want to change it to 2. If that doesn't look, looks too small or too chunky, you can make you can always change it. So two, three. Four. Click right left click. So now we're gonna do number five. And last but not least, number six. So there we go. There we go. Number six floor is complete. Alright, that'll be it for now.